Hey everyone, a Nerd Day Mark here, and it's time to go over episode eleven of Common Art Gabu. Um, I was, I was, I was honestly being like, should I review this or should I wait until episode twelve? Because once again, it's like a two part arc, and I made the mistake of doing eight and a nine in one video because I didn't have time to review eight, and then I had to wait for the week off, and then episode ten, and that was the ten was the part two of episode nine and now we got episode 11 which part two will be episode 12 and i'm just like you know i'm just gonna review it i don't need to do two part i have time finally let me just get the review out uh because this was a great episode honestly uh one of the things in particular was we got our um identity reveal of valen to shoma uh through no fault of his own it wasn't by choice obviously uh which i'll touch on and also once again we got some top tier fighting all right i'm not gonna say it's peak because i don't throw the word peak around just willy-nilly okay i will say i love when they do the close close quarters like alleyway fighting especially when it involves the agents because we got lango's agents this time because lango has finally entered the fray and decided to visit the human world and i was like i'm here for it like they're the aura of this man the like just to paint you a picture, the scene when in the episode, Lango's just walking down the street, crowded people, everyone's stopping and staring at him. You see people like kind of like filming him, taking photos, and even Sachika sees him and she even she's like, What? She's like, eh, what's going on here? She had goosebumps after he passed by her. So obviously she sensed something's up with that dude. Um and I Enjoyed the humor side of it, which wasn't really funny, technically supposed to be. Uh, the person this week that we are helping out is a girl who's basically being catfished on a dating app by someone using Hanto's picture. Uh, the funny elements of it are when they're reading the conversations, because Sajika and Shoma are like, let's read it and see if it sounds like Hanto. And they do this whole dramatization of Hanto like in a suit sitting there kissing his phone, saying these sweet romantic things to our uh, character who gets kidnapped of the week named Emmy. And I'm just sitting there like, I was like, all right, it was just great to see Hondo's actor act like that. That was entertaining. Um, No new forms, which I'm okay with. Like I said, hey, we're not getting forms every episode. I actually really enjoy that because I feel like that's... Mm, it's not making forms seem like throwaway. Like we even got the punching gummy uh, attack this week, which we don't always see. Hopefully we'll see the kicking gummy soon. Uh, we did get our Garuk in form again, which I'm always here for that big bulky suit. I love it, especially with the Gatling gun. Uh, one of the things from, I'm really digging every time, even if it's like a two minute scene, not even five minutes total of the episode, just stuff going on with stomach ink. So, Lango has fired the twins. They did not live up to their bargain, which was what? Defeat Gavu and give like what? Uh, half a dozen or so cases filled with people that were kidnapped for spice. And they didn't live up there in the bargain. So, uh, you know, Lango fires them and he's like, oh, but you're not off like scot free. Like you're not going to get to go do whatever you want now. And he supplies them with some research material on the upper society of their world because he's going to marry them off to further their standing in the upper society of their world, which I think is an intriguing twist because, as you know, episodes ago, they talked about, hey, you know, their whole dark treats and everything, that's kind of like underground, you know. So they're trying to elevate their customer base. So I like that it's not, you know, they're kind of not really integrated into the full society. They're not like this high upstanding regarded. Well, we don't really know actually in their world, but they're shady and they're trying to do, they're trying to, you know, further their own benefit. So I think that was really cool. No glow to this episode. I'm sure she's off doing something cool as always. Um, you know, I miss her. Um, but there's like, I, I do like that. We kind of get more and more about stomach ink here and there. You kind of like, if I had like one of those conspiracy boards with like the red string linking photos and details of everything, like we're kind of getting a broader picture of the overall schemes, goals, and 
you know, the dynamic between the family. And it even came out even more when Lango finally was talking with Shoma finally. And he even mentions, you know, hey, they're fired and it's because of you. You were messing with our business. So it's your fault they got fired. And there's a line by Shoma that stuck with me where he's like, you know, you treated me that like dirt and this and that and then this is how you're treating them too so it's kind of like you know lango being the bullying big brother um but the fighting i want to talk more about the fighting i want to talk more about the action because there were so many like i like these grounded fights not a lot of cg it's just base form gavu two agents and our granu of the week which is a crocodile or alligator themed and just the practical effects of them in this little narrow alleyway, destroying stuff, tipping over vending machines on Gavu, tossing an air conditioner unit at him. Just everything about that fight was so good, and it led to Garuk and Form uh, appearing. And I like that when he defeated the agents with the Gatling gun, you got this Lango kind of looked on. He had this look on his face, and he kind of did this little, like, like he was kind of impressed. Or he kind of realized, okay, I see why the twins struggled. Or I didn't know he had it in him. I didn't know little little half bro, you know, could do this. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Or I've seen it firsthand. Now I know what we're dealing with. Um, and all that fighting, all that action was so good. I was so impressed with it. I, I loved it, honestly. Like, I am hard-pressed to say that this is... Um, the, the pacing, 11 episodes in, the action's so good, the story. Like, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And also, I got to say, from a drip standpoint, Sajika had some good drip. She she always got she always got some fashion-forward drip going on. I know what fashion-forward means, okay? I'm married to someone who watches a lot of Project Runway. So I see a lot of unique drip on the TV every once in a while. So, you know, I, I got to salute. Even even Lango, like that really long like leather jacket that was all nice designed up. Like him walking through, like I said earlier, with the aura, I was like, okay, he's he's a little, he's a little dripped out too. I am i don't have the shoulders to rock a jacket like that. Because I have one similar. I can't. I tried. I was like, no, I just look. I look like a, a, a walking rectangle. It does not work for me. I wish it would. Because that was a nice fit. Um, the main thing, though, because I said this is a two-part episode, so we got to wait till episode 12, is Balan's identity reveal to Gavu was not intentional. Uh, he, when the alligator escaped while Shomo was finishing off the agents, we got, you know, Hanto saw the Granu. We did see a new version of the henching because he was running and he shot his little melon buster gun and you see the go cheese own stuff come back on him and he henching that way i thought that was pretty neat um we're not always going to get a situation where he gets to slam it into the ground and the fight was intriguing i like that it's you know the granutes are stronger we know that they've been modified and also the human version of the granute this time was a little kid who was catfishing people and doing all the nice little little messages so they're all happy and glowing when they go to meet up in this little cafe and right when they're in the hallway they're now spice i like that but this alligator was given putting the beats on valen okay there was no it, it, it was very one-sided and visually it was appealing because you you see valen in trouble our granddude's about to do hit him with the super alligator beam attack out of his alligator mouth thing on his chest and they did this cool visual thing where you see Gavu come down with a sword to try and take out the Granute before he can attack, but he still gets the attack off. Balan explodes, and we see a bloodied Hanto pass out and fall to the ground, which shocked Shoma, because he's a way of Hanto. And we get the end of the episode, and I was like, okay, nice little cliffhanger, but not like a super, like, Oh, what's going to happen next, Cliffhanger? Because we know, okay, Shoma's going to find out that he knows who he is now. Um, there is elements where I think Sakura knows, or Sachika knows that they're Kamen Rider. Because at one point, when they're all at the cafe, they can't find Emmy. And, you know, her friend is about to go look as well. And she's like, no, let them go look. Let them handle it. We'll stay here and wait in case she shows up. And I feel like the way 
she kind of said it in her body language. I'm like, she has to know something's up. You know, I, I feel like, but at the same time, I don't want stuff dragged out with reveals. Like, I feel like, yeah, we could have waited one more episode, which we technically are because Shoma hasn't interacted with Hanto yet. But I like that they didn't kind of drag out the reveal for too long. Like I said, it could be a little bit, if they drag it out too long, it'll start to be like, oh, come on, just like do it already. And then they'll, they might not capitalize on it properly. I think 11 episodes in, Valen hasn't been around for 11 episodes, obviously, but I feel like this is all right. Now I'm wondering if, because I didn't watch any of the previews for episode 12, if this is going to lead to Shoma revealing to Hanto that he's Gavu. Um, because remember this whole entire time, Shoma thinks Valen is also part granite like he is. And so I'm curious how this is going to play out. And also Hanto thinks Gavu's human, I believe. If that was kind of hinted at earlier on when they first were like interacting with each other episodes ago. Uh, but yeah, I like that a lot. Um, I think this was a great episode. Like I said, the fighting alone really elevated this episode because I like that it wasn't big out in the open where they can do like the panoramic shots. It was very close quarters, a lot of close zoom in shots, a lot of focus on the action, which was choreographed amazingly. I really love these agents and the only downside is the agents are all the same based like from an aesthetic based from all the stomach ink, just like the masks will be different colors. There'll be some different colors on them. I'm wondering when we're going to get some upgraded agents, if at all. Because there was a line where even, you know, Lango, when he saw uh, Shoma right before he was about to hench in a fight the agent, he's like, oh, so that's what your minions look like. And I'm like, what are we talking about now? I'm intrigued by this. So I'm not going to speculate too far ahead because we are only 11 episodes in. I'm just enjoying what we're getting a lot. Like, I'm pleasantly surprised this how early in the show we are with how impressive everything has been from a pacing writing filming editing everything standpoint um we haven't really gotten that in recent years so i'm curious where it's gonna go um but yeah let me know what you thought of the episode let me know what you thought of the fighting like because i know a lot of people like are already talking about the the cake form that's coming out like the king one and this and that but it's like what we're we've got so far and what's compared to what's coming out in the future i think right now like the action has been phenomenal i know everyone wants to talk about forms and you know this and that but like let me know what you guys think about the, the fighting because i think it's been stellar um and also let me know what you think of the episode as well um i got some other toys coming in soon um because the holidays are coming up so that's when I'm going to kind of put a pause in ordering a lot of stuff. I got to get gifts for other people, you know, family and this and that. So I cut back on my toy buying. So I do have one box, maybe two more boxes before the year is over. I know I have one on the way and I'll have one more in December. And then that's kind of it for me for toy videos anyways, for reviews. Um, I got some other non Toku content coming up. I'm filming like comic book stuff and this and that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. I appreciate the likes and all the interactions. Um, I know my uploading hasn't been too uh, consistent recently. I'm working on it. But that's it for the video. I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.